Hello and welcome. I'm going to be showing you how to get the Mimic Tear Ash and upgrade it to level 10 in this video. All on one quick route, it's pretty easy to do. You just need to have killed Radan and get yourself a Sterling Sword Key. Uh, you'll need a bunch of runes to upgrade the Mimic Tear Ash once you've done this video too, but you know, that's your problem. Um, to kill Radan, it's in the bottom right of um, Kaelid, is it pronounced? I'm not sure. Uh, you just need to go down there where I'm showing you now and take away gate. Okay, so first off in the video, we're going to have to head to Rani's Rise. Um, this is where we start the Rani quest line. To do that, we're going to have to make it through the um, mana there at the top. You can just run up to here. You don't. There's no bosses you need to kill to get here. But I'm going to show you how to get through this mana. It's pretty simple to do. And um, there'll be a bunch of hands, but honestly, if you just keep running, they can't really hit you. Yeah, head into this building. I like to just grab the graces as I go, just you know, in case you get killed. Head across these um, walls here. Head up this lift. There should be a golden seed coming up. Um, you always want to grab those. Give you plus one to your flasks. Probably need that though. That's um, plus one to the number of flasks. Okay, so this is the boss you actually need to beat in this manner to get to the Three Sisters area where Rani's right is. Um, it's, not, it's much weaker than Radan, right? So you should be okay to kill. Okay, so uh, Rani's Rise is the southmost rise. It has a dragon in the way. You just run past it again. It never hits you, honestly. So head up to the top. Gonna have to exhaust all of Rani's dialogue. Um, once she says the same thing twice, you just need to head downstairs to two spirits, sometimes three. Just ex exhaust their dialogues as well, and then head back up to meet Rani. Ah, I shall soon, and it will be this doll still. Yep, exhaust their dialogues again. I shall, and it will be. I have high look. Okay, now we can escape Rani's rise. Okay. Um, so we head to the south of Limgrave, uh, next to Fort Height, Height West, and there should be a giant crater, um, which is only here once you kill Radan, which is why Radan is needed to kill. So we just head down the crater, hug the uh, right wall here, and then jump down. Okay, so we knock around Eternal City. Um, Okay, so first up is the first item we'll be getting. This is the Ghost Glove Watt Picker's Bell Bearing. Um, it will allow us to get to buy the Ghost Glove Watts 1 to 3 in the shop in the round table area. Okay, so we're going to need to kill this boss. And um, it's the Mimic boss. What you can do is unequip your items and then it creates a Mimic of you in this exact, exact instance. And it basically has no items. The easiest boss in the game, honestly. Okay, once you've killed the boss, head across this bridge. It's more like a giant wall, actually. I'm not really sure. Okay, um, head into this area. There should be uh, a minotaur singing. Pretty gross. Okay. Okay, head through the city. I'm going to slow it down so I can just show you the platform, and you don't really want to fall off here. But there is a grace just before, so not the end of the world. Okay, head across this rooftop here. Um, ignore these guys, waste of time. Um, okay, so the mimic tier should be here. You need this is where you need the stone key, and in a chest in this room is your mimic tier. So just kill this lady here.
All right, grab that. Okay, so for, for the next part of Rani's um, quest line, we're gonna need to grab the finger sayer blade. Uh, we take that to her, and then it will allow us to get to the next area we need to get to. Um, but this chest also gives the great ghost glove one, which is what we need also to get to level 10. Okay, back to Rani's rise. Okay, she's real happy with you. She gives you a little statue. Okay, we need to teleport out of the Three Sisters area so we can just go to where we killed the boss before. And then we come back in and this rise here, right, um, had a magic door which you couldn't get through and now you can get through it. Um, cool. And we take this way gate and this area has a bunch of late game ghost glove wards. Um, you know, from seven to eight to nine. Okay, so just just tank this guy, honestly. Shoots one barrage of rocks. If you tank that, you're good. Okay, first, let's go to Glove Watch 7 here. Grab that. Head, follow the water into this cave. Keep following the water stream. Okay, through this gate. What is it? Noxtella? The internal city. Wow. Okay. Um, follow the water again. We're going to get Ghost Club Bot 8 and 9. There's a giant lamy of um, mimic things here, so I'll just roll past trying not to die. You got your 8 right there. Okay, we'll head this building on the left here. It has a lift in it. We're going to go down this lift. Cool. Okay. A hard 180 after this grace to the right of this building. Once we've done the 180, is the Ghost Club Walk 9. Grab that. Okay, head back to the first grace as we entered Noxtella. Uh, head up these stairs. Not the first floor, but the second floor on the left in this little room here. You'll have the Ghost Bearing 2. Bell Bearing 2. Grab this. Let us um, buy four to six in the in the shop so now we've got everything we need i'm just going to show you um, me buying everything because i've got lots of runes okay so give give the twin maiden husks your bell bearings um buy them Go to this lady here, a blonde girl. I'm not sure what she's called actually. Found this video useful? Make sure to give it a like down below, and thanks for watching.